Princess Charlotte's HRH and princess titles were not guaranteed under previous royal rules. But the Queen intervened to ensure Charlotte would not be known as Lady Charlotte, according to a royal historian. According to royal historian Marlene Koenig, the Queen intervened when Catherine was pregnant with her first child by issuing a letters patent that ensured all of the Cambridge children would be known as a prince or princess. She said, if Charlotte had been born first under the 1917 letters patent, because she was a great-granddaughter in the male line, and only the eldest son of the eldest son of the Prince of Wales was entitled to be HRH. Then she would have been the Lady Charlotte Mountbatten-Windsor. So the Queen fixed that little issue. Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis are the only three of the Queen's twelve great-grandchildren to hold prince or princess titles. And in recent years, there has been much discussion about why the children of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, Duchess of Sussex, do not have royal titles as the grandchildren of Prince Charles, a future king. Harry and Meghan's children are titleless and are known as Archie Harrison Mountbatten-Windsor and Lilibet Diana Mountbatten-Windsor. According to Ms. Koenig, it was clear when the Queen issued her letters patent before Prince George's birth that Harry's future children would not get titles. The historian explained, the point I made even then is that the Queen changed it to all of the children of the eldest son of the Prince of Wales. Now, if Harry's children were going to be royal, if the plans had been for Harry, who was not even married at the time, to change it, why didn't the Queen say the children of all the sons of the Prince of Wales? She just capped it as the eldest son. So right then and there, you knew that Harry's kids were never going to be royal. So technically Archie is Earl of Dumbarton and Lilibet is Lady Lilibet Mountbatten-Windsor, technically that's who they are, and that was a point of change. When Charles becomes king, I do think there's going to be an official change. The Duchess of Cambridge once described her daughter Charlotte as the boss of the royal household, and the young princess is known for her strong and outgoing nature. Royal expert Katie Nicholl told, she's the most outspoken of the Cambridge children because she's got a huge personality. But six-year-old Charlotte clearly knows there is a time and a place for exuberance as she was the picture of poise at the memorial service for her great-grandfather Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, at Westminster Abbey. Royal fans were left gushing at the impeccable but confident behaviour of Princess Charlotte as she showed a quiet self-assurance way beyond her tender years. Charlotte held onto her mother Catherine's hand as they arrived at the Abbey, with the pair complimenting each other perfectly. Catherine was dressed in a stylish navy blue polka dot midi dress, while Charlotte wore a navy blue double-breasted wool coat, with matching tights and pumps. She exuded a sweet confidence as she was introduced to the Archbishop of Canterbury and the other clergy leading the service. Princess Charlotte absolutely charmed royal fans who were quick to praise the young princess on Twitter. One user wrote, What a gorgeous photo of Princess Charlotte speaking to the Archbishop of Canterbury inside the Abbey today.